Hello, hello, good people. What's up? Hope you're well. This is Florence Boneface. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. Please hit the subscription button if you haven't. Like, share this video, and give me your comments so that I can get to hear your reviews. Uh, this is about KM KMTC graduation that was taking place at the Kasarani Stadium yesterday, the home of heroes. I got to take a short video so that you could see we attended. We had a family member that was graduating. Uh, so kindly stay tuned and I hope you get to enjoy watching the rest of the video. We got here just in time. The place was highly populated. There were so many people. All the KMTC universities across Kenya. The students were there graduating. You can imagine their families across the country traveled all the way to celebrate together with their loved ones. It was an awesome event, though it took us time. The Safaricom network wasn't going through and it was giving us a great challenge to meet our family members that were there ahead of us and also the graduates. But at the end of the day, we met. It was indeed the most joyful moment for the whole family. As you can see, people are just praising, worshipping, and just being happy all over. Photo sessions followed, and things just went fine and smooth. So finally, it was time to depart from Kasarani grounds, people. Where? Now, this was the most chaotic part. And at this time, around 4, 4, 35 p.m., there are people that had not seen their relatives, their graduates, you know. So it was just sad. People are just making calls, trying to make calls. Others came with gifts, and they're not even able to give them to whoever they were supposed to give. I think at the end of the day, some people just gave up and went back home with whatever they had carried because why well, it wasn't easy to trace your people. So here you could see some graduates just walking around, asking from the phone, where are you, where are you, I'm on this gate, this gate, this gate. And Kasarani is a big stadium. So here, and uh, also from the exit gate, where? the population, the speed, you know, when you hear of stampede and people dying from stampede, but uh, yesterday I experienced it. Plus the dust from the people's steps, yeah, this was the most chaotic part, but we managed to leave the place with the kids. 
actually there are people that lost their kids and you could hear the announcements from the other side or oh, if you've lost a kid their name is so and so there are those children that don't even know their names or the names of their parents so basically they're just saying if you've lost any child you have a missing child just come over here check whether any of this is your child i'm really praying and hoping that no one went home without their kids and that at the end of the day they are able to trace them so we left the place successfully together with our graduate and now from here we were to head to uh, the place where they had set up for the after party uh, salmon thanksgivings speeches and all because you know this is not something you take for granted you have to thank god so much because there are people that were looking forward to this day but were not able to make it so for us, we counted ourselves as one of the lucky people that were able to make it. We were able to trace our family members, our graduate, everyone was in good shape. So we had to leave, go give thanks to God because this place was very congested. We couldn't do much other than just giving the gifts that people had carried. Mesdames, Messieurs, le disc jockey Zach est de retour. Après le succès imprévu du titre It's My Life, il dit merci à tous les autres disc jockeys pour leur coopération fantastique. Un merci particulier à NB. After minutes of driving, we finally got to our destination. And that is the place where we are going to do further celebrations and thanksgivings. <coughs> So this was the place we made our entry and settled down for the rest of the evening. And just soon after we settled, the celebration mode was activated and we started right there. The happiness from the participants' faces tells it all. It was a joyful day, it was a great moment, nice celebrations, we enjoyed the gathering as a family, and everything was just smooth. We thank God for this great occasion. Our girl made us proud, and we could just wish her nothing but the best in her future endeavors from this day henceforth. And here as well, we did a photo session. You know, photos are the best. They serve as the best memories. You know, you can preserve photos for a very long time. And this can remind you of the achievements you've made in the past. The people that were there with you when you made several achievements, you crossed several milestones and bridges. So yeah, definitely, we couldn't miss taking photos for anything in the world. We then concluded with the closing speeches and remarks, then we prayed, and after that, people bid each other goodbyes. There are those that were staying in the hotel, so they remained behind, while some of us left to our homes. I hope everyone that graduated yesterday and the weeks ago and the weeks to come will finish successfully. Congratulations, everyone. All the best. Thank you.